We're going to begin this hour with another look at the very complicated, and complicated is a word here, legacy of O.J. Simpson. He died Wednesday, as you know, at the age of 76 from prostate cancer. This news brought back many memories of the former football star, actor, and TV pitchman who was best known today for his sensational murder trial back in 1995. Simpson, as you know, was found not guilty of killing his ex-wife, Nicole Brown Simpson, and her friend, Ronald Goldman. The charges, the trial, and the verdict revealed a dramatic divide among Americans it seems along racial and cultural lines. With us now is Bill Roden. He's a columnist for ESPN's Anscape, who covered Simpson for decades and joins us at the table. Nice to see you. Hey, it's always I'm sorry that, I'm sorry that this is a story, though, I have to say, because you met O.J. back in 1975. You had interviewed him a couple times, and he did go from sports hero to most vilified man in America, some right, would say. Right. So when you reflect on his life and legacy of someone you, as someone you knew him, yeah. what do you think, Bill, as you sit here 30 years later? I just wish it were easier. <laughs> I mean, this yeah. is a, yeah. really, it's such a complicated legacy. You know, uh, Muhammad Ali passes away. That's pretty clear. Yeah. You know, here's a guy who stood for something. Uh, he, he, he resisted the draft. He was a man of principle. Mm -hmm. And it was a pretty straight line, even if you dig into yeah. the fertilities that make us all human. Uh, Bill Russell... You know, it's a pretty straight line. Right. Not the oh, case here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah O.J., and we kind of got into a little bit with Jim Brown, where it's kind of, he kind of redeemed himself. But there was some stuff. With O.J., it's just such a wiggly mm. line, man. It's like, you know, a great football player, but then there was a, there, there was a trial. And I think that uh, the trial was really not about O.J. There was this whole idea, and I've been kind of disturbed about seeing the pictures of of all the black folks rejoicing and the white folks being pissed off. When but that did appear to be the case at the time. Well, at the Not all black people were rejoicing. Well, I, I, I absolu guess that. Absolutely. But I think, when you look at I the think big collectively, picture, though, yeah. there was an overwhelming majority There's, of black folks but it, yeah, that just wanted the system to work for us. Precisely. And it wasn't about OJ, because OJ was kind of Michael Jordan before Michael Jordan in terms of just being this racially neutral kind of person. I mm. mean, his big thing was that he was a pitch man. And he was a crossover pitch man. Remember yeah. the whole thing with him and Hertz and running through the right. airport and, and an elderly uh, white woman saying, go, OJ, go. But Bill, it's like, I'm not black, I'm OJ. I'm OJ. Yeah. Yeah. And, and he actually he, said that. Yeah, he, yeah. he actually he actually said, said that. that. So that kind of puts him in a lot of my mind. But, uh, but all I kept thinking was two people were slaughtered when I right. saw all this. Two people were slaughtered. OK, we all know that the system is, is not just. Right. We, we get that. But two people were slaughtered, and I, I couldn't shake that feeling about what was happening in the country. Well, that, well, well, that is a reality. But of course, then you go down the, the rabbit hole. Even now, is it? Well, do you think he did it, and do you think he didn't do it? And mm. and, and I think if you really, in your heart of hearts, think that he did it, there's no way he's off the hook. There, there's no way. None of this debate matters if you think that he took the lives of two people. All this is irrelevant. On the other hand, if you think that he did not do it, mm -hmm. then he is off the hook, and then we could focus on... The thing is, remember, two years earlier, two years earlier, uh, we got into the thing with Rodney King, oh. and it was a video that was explicit. Right. Of Setting the spot. climate of the time. Yeah, the climate. Yeah. I mean, and that's kind of where we were, because, you know, for people like my parents, who were used to this, with whether it was uh, Emmett Till, or whether it was... Um, there were so many civil rights people right. who had been brutalized by the system, and, and people just too. routinely, routinely, yeah. got, because black I, lives did not matter. Yeah. I, I think, yeah. Bill, to, to pick up on what you and Gail were, were talking about, I think it's interesting for people to understand when they see those images of young black people, black people cheering, and, yeah. and the solemn faces of white Americans in the wake of the verdict, the point that you're making about uh, there was the Lat Latasha Harlins in 1991, the young girl who was killed in the uh, yeah. convenience store. Oh, yeah. There, there was, there was Rodney King. Yeah. Uh, right. There was then the, the riots and Reginald Denny. Right. Um, but then you have Mark Furman, yeah. who appears to be this super cop who finds all this evidence, but then racist. you find that he is a raging racist on right. those tapes. So for the people sitting on that jury, they're saying to themselves, based on what you just talked about, right. Emmett Till and every other black and brown person who was lynched right. and who was killed at the hands of the system, yeah. that they would say, well, that cop may have planted that evidence. Yeah. Mm. Right. Yeah, there, there was, and it, there lies the doubt. There lies the, the doubt, that, the, the reasonable, reasonable doubt reasonable. that they, that they, that yes, they require. So, so, so we're talking about systemically. Mm -hmm. My thing is, though, th though it had nothing to do with OJ, I mean, O.J. was not soul brother number one. I mean, you know, he, he was not that, he was not that guy. Mm. This was, and, 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 and if anything, it was more about Johnny Cochran's brilliance. Mm -hmm. You know, I think we were kind of getting into that, too. He was so, a very yeah, good attorney. Yeah, yeah Johnny Cochran was a great attorney and also was about power and money. 
It was about if you have enough resources, you can beat the system. And very few black folks had those kind of resources to beat the system. So you're, you're right, it was about a lot of that, but you're right, Gail, at the end of the day, two people were dead. Yeah. yeah. And, and, we, and he we, had a history, but that's the thing, right? We, we, we all know, in, having covered news for so long, that there are women who have been battered, who've been abused at the hands of people, and the system has let them go because right. they're rich, they're powerful, they're mm. famous. We now right. know that rich, powerful, famous people do heinous, heinous things. And right. get away with it because of power. Well, maybe not now, money. but we're Back talking then. about then. You know, so just, when you look at that case, was it a mixture of the celebrity? Was it a mm. mixture of the dream team? Was it a mixture mm. of mistakes on the prosecution part? I think, that yeah, I think it was all that. It was clearly they made, they made blunders. They did. But it was also about, it was about O.J.'s celebrity. Uh, but, you know, there was, a, there, there was this dark side that came up, too. Yeah. That a lot of people, you know, because, like, I, I knew O.J. one way. Then this trial said, darn, man, really? You know, you, you were this kind of you were this kind of guy? Mm -hmm. And I kept going back to, well, this is larger than O.J. But I also go so back So how is he going to be remembered? He, he knew that. That's, that's the like, question. Yeah. Like, like, how is like he this. Be is, is, he, is he vilified or celebrated? Mm. It's I, I, I think it's a really complicated line. It's, like I said, it's a wiggly line that I've been trying to parse since I found out that he was... The thing, I just remember being, spending a week with him and he played Bid Whisk. And for mm. me, I said, wait a minute, this brother plays Bid Whisk. You know, he can't be all bad, you know. <laughs> you know. Bill. What is that game? What, yeah. what is Bill? Brother, I don't know. Brother, Brother, I don't Bill know about that. <laughs> Our game? Bill. Oh, come on. You got to tell confused. about Bill. Well. Come on, <laughs> <laughs> it's a card game. not guilty, okay, right. but yeah, innocent it's a card game, is the yes. question. He was yeah. found not guilty, but yeah. innocent. Uh, the, the and civil it's still case, the question. Civil case I found him responsible for the death. I don't know. But New York Post is pretty clear about it. Nobody has spent any time in jail. Yeah. for the murders mm, of, right. of these two people. Now, he was found right. responsible. Right. He was ordered to pay a fine, in a which, he didn't, in a which he never which paid. Which he did not pay. And the yeah. Nobody's been spent any time in prison for the deaths well, of those two. And, and, and this energy right here, this conversation, <laughs> is what his life brings yeah. to the forefront, yeah. right. whether right. it's in everybody. person or on social media. Bill, right. thank you so much.